guys, Mike Soler here with Dog Talk, and I'm so excited we're down here at the Baltimore Dog Bakery in Baltimore, Maryland. We got invited today to come down here and make some cookies for you guys, and in celebration of the Christmas holidays, they're going to be showing you some uh, special cookie design that they have just in celebration of the holidays. Baltimore Dog Bakery was established in 1997 by Key Wagner, who will be joining us shortly to talk about some of the things that she's been doing down here. Hey guys, again, as promised, here we are at the Baltimore Dog Bakery, and I'm with Key Wagner. She's the owner and founder of the Baltimore Dog Bakery, and today she's going to be showing us how to make some of her natural treats. She's also going to let us know where some of the places that you can buy these natural treats for your dog, and that way you know you're giving your dog all natural supplemental uh, food, and you don't have to worry about any type of byproducts that are going into it. She's also going to have me make some of these things today, which is going to be really exciting, because we're going to share, you, share with you the process on how to do it. So Keith, what are some of the places that we can purchase the uh, all-natural biscuits that you're selling? Yeah. Um, you can find the product in several different places, such as Wegmans, Whole Foods, Harris Teeters, Amazon Prime, uh, local, some liquor stores, some okay. pet stores. And of course they can buy it directly from you and at right the here. BaltimoreDogBakery.com, right? Correct. Fantastic. Now. Just to let you guys know, uh, before we started shooting, she actually already made some of the dough balls for you, just because it's a very long process to put it all together. But she did explain it to me where she, her, she and her crew get together and they make a bunch of the dough balls that are gonna that are gonna be formed into the cookies today. But we're gonna get skip a little bit of that process and get right into step really number one, right? Or number two, <laughs> technically. Uh, and we need to do what with this right now? You need to create what we call a dough ball. And what that is is you take the dough and you flatten it out. Okay. So it can run through another machine to even make it even more flat. Um, but this is the physical part and uh, I'd love to see those muscles at work <laughs> making that. All right, so I guess we just yeah, push from the go. center out, right? There you go. Now go back. Can you adjust? Yeah, just a little bit at a time. Yeah, that's good. Quick. Good. Okay. I was going to say, I don't think that's... being a dog trainer for the past 15 uh, plus years is that people now are looking at their dogs as kids. I mean, they my are. parents bring uh, my dog's treats for the holiday season. Yeah. So <laughs> looking at it, I mean, getting a, a natural treat for the dog is probably a really good alternative for those grand puppies and, uh, <laughs> and uh, niece and nephew dogs that you have out there. So I think this is a really good way. Remember guys, check out the Baltimore Dog Bakery if you guys are interested in some holiday gifts. And what's really cool is she actually gives 1% of all sales to the Maryland SPCA. So that's something else, too, to think about is that you're also supporting a great cause with that. Yeah. Great organization. Check them out, too. Right. Put some muscles in there. Excellent. I'm impressed. Now it's time for the dog bone. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what, why do we fold it? So, uh, um, good question, so right? it, <laughs> it is a good question. Um, so it doesn't get caught in the whatever, so the dough doesn't stretch. Okay. That's, that's, you don't want stretchy dog treats. So you want a uniform size, and my cutter is, all, this, all the treats will be the same size, so you need them to look pretty when they come out. Awesome. So how do we get from one side to the other? You're not going to touch that at all. <laughs> You're going to, this is your 
Okay, so there's a floor pedal. Floor pedal. And what that does, it makes the belt. So the belt's going to exit, that's mm -hmm. why we fold it for slack, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay. Yes. And what you're going to do is you're going to have your, do the foot pedal, but you're going to stop right here because we have to pull the dough off. Okay, so, so it we doesn't don't want to wrap that around. around. Okay. Yeah. So right. real nice and easy. Excellent. Over here. Now you're just going to, there you go. This guy's good. I'm shocked. <laughs> One is sitting in there. Yeah, you right. just want to roll it off. There you go. And just roll. Beautiful. All right, so we got to keep it all together. You've done this before, haven't you? <laughs> oh my gosh. No, no, I don't. Okay, now, now this is, yes, you want to do two hands. I will tell you to stop with pieces of it. Tap, tap, tap. Yep. Okay. There you go. I'm trying to be nice here. Wait. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. Perfect. Keep oh, going. we got one going. We have one escape from us. I found it though. Didn't let him go, Keith. That's good. Didn't let him go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Right, so now we have to dust off the flour. Oh, excuse me. Now we have to dust off the flour. It's getting to me in here. <clears throat> Right, so it looks Beautiful. Like doing good there. I put that to the side. And now we got to pop out the dog bones. Is that right? Right. So is there a trick to this to make it quick and easy? Not really. Just go for one at a time, huh? No. Well, yes. <laughs> you want to just pop them up and pull. Pop up pull. and pull. Little tricks of the trade you learn after so long. And I'm assuming the bo the bones that are not complete perfect sizes, like towards the edges here, we're going to leave together to, I, I'm assuming, recycle because you said earlier. Right. You do not let any of this go to waste, right? No, so you make different yes. size treats uh, for different things, training as well. And training. you're actually looking to start selling at the Blue Line Canine Training Center as well up in Hartford County. Yep. So you can, use, you can get your training treats as well there. Yep. Training and uh, you can get your dog trained while you're there. That's it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And if you can do this as well as training, then you must be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> You're multi-talented. All right, guys. So now that we have the dough balls put together, we have the cookies cut out, it's time for it to go in the oven. Into the oven they go. Into the oven we go. So <laughs> there is a little bit of a process to it, so she's going to be guiding me through. So okay. tray one's going to go all the way, all the way, way in. All the way back. All the way back. Just like so. Woo! Even on these cold winter days, you guys must be cozy warm in here. Yes, we are. Thank you. <laughs> nice job. Just all the way to the back. You guys ever get excited to make a pizza in here? <laughs> we can bake a lot in here. <laughs> we can create anything we want. <laughs> all right. So all right. Nice small. job. All right. So I'm here with Susan. The cookies are now out of the oven and it's time for packaging. So Susan's taking a labeled bag and she's going ahead and she's putting them in here, which what we do, they let them cool off in the Tupperware here and then they're going to put them into the package. So Susan, what is the, the main process here? Pretty simple. You've got to make sure you got the right flavor and that matches what you're packaging. Scoop it out, put it in the bag, and um, we also, on the bones, we'll add, there's enough clear envelope here opening on the front. You just slide a four piece in the front and then weigh it. And then a couple more in here to a certain point. Got it. Then we just close the bag up and move on to the next one. Awesome guys. Key, I want to thank you for having Dog Talk come in here and check out your bakery and everybody out there Baltimore Dog Bakery. It's a phenomenal place to get natural treats for your dog. I mean, they're so natural that I'm even willing to eat one. You can go ahead and check them out at BaltimoreDogBakery.com.